the stench of monumental corruption that has come out of this Bobrisky scandal also shows in bold relief the power of social media. Somebody called Martins Vincent Orsi, alias very dark man or very dark black man. Somebody called him an investigative journalist. And I said, no. Another one said, oh, VDM is now the one teaching investigative journalists how to do their work. Of course, this is around nonsense. It's not teaching us how to do our work. But we must admit that the young man has courage. And this is just what has happened is not a piece of investigative journalism. It's a case of somebody who felt cheated by Bob Risky. Because Bob Risky was looking for money up and down, like the Fawaraja that he is, or looking for money up and down to be able to pay for the indulgences that he craved when he's supposed to be in prison. And at the end of the day, somebody loaned him money that he apparently was not prepared to pay. There are many of them, many big people who take a loan, even from banks, and refuse to pay. Many of Nigeria's billionaires today are overdraft billionaires. They took money from the banks. Then they would rather watch those banks go down than pay their debts. So, Bobrisky was reluctant to pay, and that fellow got in touch with very dark man. He trusted very dark man for his honesty, for his integrity. He knew that very dark man would put that audio clip, the conversation that they had on one of his social media platforms. And that was what Very Dark Man did. And it has caused all of the Ola Balu that is um, going on now. So that is not the result of investigative journalism. It's just a case of somebody slipping an audio clip into his hands, helping him, um, trying to get him to pressure Bob Risky to pay. And if Bob Risky will not pay, then the scandal will eventually embarrass him in ample quantities. That's what uh, we have seen. But there's a difference between what has happened and investigative journalism the real sense of the word. But I'm not taking anything away from uh, VDM. I think he's a young man with courage and he loves the Nigerian people. He likes to fight for the ordinary people. We saw him when he went to my degree. You know, he, he, we cannot bear to see people suffer and he tries to do his best to help people who are suffering. So kudos to uh, Martins, uh, Vincent, also alias a very dark black man or very dark man, you know?